Your mom should be able to comfort you and make you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. And I couldn't do that for him. To lose everything that I've worked so hard for all those years. Losing a job that I loved. Losing my husband. Losing my home. Once Josiah was diagnosed, they told me he would not talk. I was alone with an autistic child that I didn't understand. God will reach out to them to bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. And we pray for you, children of God, who have come to rejoice with these four families. There was nothing that I could do to comfort him. Sorrow will not visit you. Amen. I would just let him go. Then Damar extended a hand. They pick him up from my front door, and they drop him off at my front door. And as he learned, I learned. Look at me, concentrate. Scrub a little bit more. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yeah. You want a story? Yes. One day, they came in the door. And the therapist said, let's show mom what we've learned. And he rushed to his room, put his backpack and his coat up. <laughs> and uh, she says, Josiah. And she said, who is this? And pointed at me. And he said, say it. Mom. And when I tell you, the warm and fuzzy feeling came over me, it did. It did. That was just so amazing to hear him say, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>